Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Mushoku Tensei season 2 episode number 8. Okay, the previous episode um we went back to Roxy's hometown. Roxy went back to uh, her hometown. She like you know interacted with her parents for after quite a long while. It's been quite a long while that she left the village and you know stuff happened now here's the thing and uh, in the previous episode i was kind of like you know in under a misconception because you know like i completely forgot that roxy was the only one who wasn't able to talk telepathically and all the other like you know Ro all the people from roxy's village uh, i think the race uh, it's called migud yeah migud the migud people they um they are able to talk telepathically telepathically <laughs> and that's why they never need to like you know speak like with their voices uh since roxy is unable to do it her parents had to probably learn that like you know someone like let me know in the comment section and uh because of that like you know because uh roxy felt a lot um, like you know out of place she left the village now that makes more sense in a way because you know like i was kind of like you know in the weird misconception in the previous episode i thought that roxy could like you know listen to all of them telepathically while all the others weren't able to and that probably made her feel ostracized i was under that impression like i i completely forgot uh, you know in season one they kind of i think in a way explained this whole situation where uh rudy goes to roxy's um hometown and they kind of explained that which i completely forgot so i was under that mis weird misconception and like that's why like uh, the previous episode the way i saw it and reacted to it was completely um you know different and like you know i it was like in a weird uh weird misconceptionized way i kind of saw the whole like and understood everything but thankfully like you know as i said the comment kind of made me uh like you know uh told me what happened and i was able to like you know recall the episode from season one and yeah for, for now i'm like you know all well and good i know what's happening and it's all cleared up to me so yeah that was it so okay uh, let's get started with this episode this is episode number um eight of mushiko tensei season two so yeah let's see what happens so i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started all right so here's the countdown three two one go oh we're back here Hitogami. Hitogami is going to come. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. True. He really doesn't like Hitogami. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he also needs to put the effort. <laughs> oh, that's why he's first aided, okay. Maybe this is maybe this is something to do with his own mental, you know, image of himself. That's why he's seeing him like this. I'll talk about this later after th uh, this episode ends, if I remember. Come on, Hitokami, you know what? Hmm. Okay. I'm sure he'll help in some way or the other. <laughs> okay. 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 <laughs> <laughs> 
I think that's because of his own mental. Okay. Hmm. All right, let's hear. Hmm, okay, I'm ready. Woo. Oh. Why? She, what? Oh, so something's happening. Palace of Shirone. It says something about being rescued. Oh God, they're still in the ship. But at least he has like a hint like where they are now, you know? Oh, wow. Damn, Hidogami. Calculating each and everything. <laughs> well, he's a god, so I guess. <laughs> wow. So yeah, as I was saying, I think the way he sees himself in his heart kind of reflects the way he is in front of Hidogami. Because, I don't know, if he gains confidence and becomes more comfortable with this body maybe he'll see himself as the okay i don't know like his mental weakness is kind of getting reflect in front of hitokami something like that that's why he all the time he sees himself like that in front of him i don't know wow this is like a, another new opening or a song wow look at this place my god, this is so beautiful, like... Oh, that, that looks good. Damn, high definition onigiri. <laughs> yeah, she remembered his, you know, time in Japan. Wow. Wow, look at this. Okay, this is... Oh my god, this is so good. Hmm. Oh. Oh, okay. This is another new town. No. Oh damn, they have elephants. This is Shirone, okay, kingdom. So Aisha and Lilia are here somewhere. Someone I know. Oh, Roxy, okay, okay, all right. Oh, Roxy is okay. Okay, so. No. <laughs> um, another one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't want to involve others. Okay, Roxy's letter.
didn't Hitogami say that after meeting? Wait. What the? Yeah, okay. This this person. The sash isn't it? I feel like the dress kind of Wait, so he gave her the letter to you know transport it to the palace? What? Okay, I'm jumping into conclusions here, but I think that is Aisha who's following her. Yeah, it is. <laughs> oh my god, here we go. Okay. Oh damn. Oopsie. Yeah, go back. Go back. Wait, what the hell is happening? What job? Taking a letter from a kid? Yeah. Oh yeah, they said that she's she's in the palace. Oh, that's why they're taking the letter. Yeah, right, we know that. Yeah, that's Aisha. <laughs> oh boy, run! <laughs> oh my god. Now the question is, why are they held at the palace? Like... Whoa! <laughs> Damn, Rudy can fly <laughs> like this. Yeah. <laughs> oh boy. There you go. <laughs> so we need an different time alias yeah yeah okay <laughs> yeah. they okay oh that was here her later okay oh okay okay i i misunderstood Ah! <laughs> wow! <laughs> mm, okay. Yeah. Okay. Maybe she doesn't know rocks. <laughs> yeah, why? Oh no! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh 
Oh my god. Okay. Understandable. Understandable. <laughs> oh no. No, that's... No. <laughs> Ross is a lot older. Oh. <laughs> well, hmm. <laughs> okay, well, what, yeah, what can we do? <laughs> oh, yeah, if, oh, yeah, Daff. <laughs> I thought it was someone, something else. Knight, okay, Mr. Knight. Okay. Kennel master. <laughs> um, all right. Well, <laughs> this is a problem. <laughs> so how do we rescue them? Yeah. Maybe, maybe he should send the letter to Paul either way, you know, like, he can go and try to break her out, but at the same time. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Kettle master. <sighs> okay. Well, because you, <laughs> because you don't know what Ross, uh, Rudy did before. But you know what? Eris is pretty accustomed to Rudy. He knows what he... <laughs> what type of a person he is, so... <laughs> Luigi is so... Mask? Oh, Roxy, okay. <laughs> Alright. So, will Aisha stay here for the time being, I guess? Eating her hair? <laughs> what the who? Oh, from the palace? Oh no. Jinja yo. Oh no, oh no. That, do they know that? Oh, okay, okay, that's right, all right. Oh, I thought that they found, okay. Ooh. Yeah. Hopefully. I hope this is not a trap or something. Oh no. Oh! Eris! Get master! <laughs> okay. Hopefully this is not a trap or something. Like, I don't know. Maybe they're using Roxy's names to just... Okay, maybe it is not. <laughs> uh. What? Oh no, I'm getting a bad feeling.
Oh no, oh no. Oh no, stop, okay. Well, I don't know, okay. I think, yeah, this is, this, this is definitely a trap. Oh no, this is a trap. It's that guy. It's that guy, the one with uh, who always spurs on Roxy, I think. Oh my god. Yeah, it is him. Ugh. Yeah. What the hell? Oh my god, okay. I don't think he needs he needs his staff to do uh, magic, so I think it'll be fine. Whoa, whoa, is this a barrier? What? It's kind of like the one where the sacred beast was. Yeah, it's a barrier. I doubt Roxy knows this. This guy just... Uh, someone needs to whack this kid on the head. Pax. Another bratty kid. Here we go again. He obviously is not going to do that. Okay, this guy's stupid as well. Great. Okay, someone needs to really whack this guy. Okay, kill him. Someone please kill him. Someone please kill him. Oh my god. <coughs> Is this Kazuma's voice actor? Is this Kazuma's voice actor? I need to check it out later on. Oh, wow. <coughs> now what? I don't think so. I think you need to root selection. Oh, boy, this kid. Great, another ratty, um, what do you call it, stupid kid joins the <coughs> cast of characters, great. 
Well, one thing's good, like we are probably going to see Roxy, Aisha, Lily all at the same time now. We're going to meet like a lot of characters at the same time. Like that's a good thing. Like I'm sure if Roxy somehow comes here, she'll probably be able to do something about the barrier because it is, I guess, her in a way who kind of constructed that. I think that's what he said, like it's her who constructed that barrier. I'm, I'm going to check it out. <clears throat> and yeah like oh boy and now Richard is here Eris is also here and the good thing here is uh, Rudy told them that I'm going to the palace so Richard will hopefully be able to do something and if he's able to break Roxy uh, Rudy out of that barrier somehow Rudy himself will be able to handle everything. Like that was, that was full on. Like I, I could feel it. Like that was a trap. That's the end. Like I don't know why Rudy didn't even think about that being a trap. I guess she, he was a little bit too excited to meet Roxy after so long that he really didn't even think about it. Like Rudy is a smart kid, so. He probably should have thought about the situation being a complete trap. You know, like even like, like especially after seeing those two guards there, like I'm, I'm guessing like, you know, his uh, excitement to see Roxy probably kind of, you know, like didn't make him think about the whole situation. Um, okay, what the hell was the guy's name? Um, she don't, she don't was his, um, Okay, seventh prince. <clears throat> I'm 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 trying to check out his voice act. His name is Pax. Okay, Pax Shirone. Um, his voice actor. I feel as if it's Kazuma's voice actor. I might be completely wrong though. Um, let me check. I think I'm wrong, most probably. Hmm. It's Kazuma. <laughs> Oh my god <laughs> I was I was able to I was able to recognize the voice oh my god it's Kazuma <laughs> I, I kind of feel sad to see this guy being voice acted by Kazuma Kazuma is such a you know like we all know Kazuma Kazuma is a great character but <laughs> seeing this guy this this twerp this brat <laughs> being <clears throat> voice acted by you know Kazuma like I'm like damn but you know what yeah <laughs> okay anyways that's I really wanted to check that out if he's voice acted by Kazuma or not uh by Kazuma's voice actor or not <clears throat> <clears throat> all right um so this episode Hidogami comes in now here's the thing this is one thing that I really wanted to talk about I might be completely wrong though, but you know when always uh, Rudy kind of uh, says that oh I really don't like this place because it makes me revert back to the way I was before. Now I don't know since this it is kind of like a dreamlike state. I feel like the way his appearance in that state is because of his own uh, you know mental way that he sees himself to be like you know like his own weakness or something probably that kind of reflects and that's why he takes that form in front of Hitogami. Now, maybe this will change if he himself, uh, like, you know, like there's, there's this whole complex within Rudy, this whole complex of his past, where he always remembers his past, the, you know, the way he was in the past and like you know, the way he was bullied and everything. Like his, his way of thinking about the past is that weak Rudy. He despises that weak Rudy and that's why it's probably one of the biggest weakness that he has within his heart. So maybe that's why whenever he comes in front of Hitogami, he sees his original self the way he envisions himself to be in his heart. It's still there. So I don't know if he is someday able to actually accept his past, his previous form and accept the fact that yeah, at that time I was weaker. Now I'm not that same person. I am like you not know, trying to be better. And I'm like, you know, trying my level best to be someone who does not uh, end up being a person like that 
if he accepts that and if he like you know accepts his past and uh, envisions a better future and a better present i don't know maybe he'll change you know in front of hitogami maybe he'll uh, become the normal person he is now now this is just a guess completely because i feel like that that scene you know that foggy scene wherever hitogami comes that's the inside of his heart and if in the inside of his heart he's still in that form that probably means in his heart he still has that weakness you know which reflects i might be completely wrong though but you know yeah i just this is just something that i thought and this is the this is the way i'm kind of seeing this whole situation so yeah anyways so hitogami comes in again hitogami is like you know what i'll let you meet your family i'll tell you i'll give you a little hint but you need to trust me from the next time and yeah he does he does help him but in a weird twisted way again uh not like you know not in a very weird way but kind of in a weird weird way like hitogami's way of doing stuff kind of reminds me of um uh, what do you call it um the monkey's paw if you guys have read the story where there's like the monkey's paw who uh you know fulfills wishes but in one of the weird most disgusting twisted way like if someone says that yeah i want to be uh you know i want to be top at a track you know like in in a school track i want to be top um he doesn't become faster but all the other contestants who are faster than that person either get sick or something happens to them that's why they, he becomes first that type of a weird twisted way to uh fulfill a wish it's not too twisted but it is kind of twisted because all the time whenever hitogami gives him advice he gets to the destination he kind of gets the wish fulfilled but in a weird way like in, in, in not in a normal fashion like either he gets captured or something happens so <clears throat> but it's not too weird not not too twisted because by the end of it rudy is somehow able to counteract that so i'm guessing this time it will be something like that as well he'll be able to counteract this as well so yeah but he did fulfill his wish you know so i guess rudy will need to trust him from the next time <laughs> even though in this manner he still made his wish come true now <clears throat> okay we get to shirone uh, shirone being that place where roxy is in the palace which i wasn't able to understand at the beginning but as soon as we got in i was able to realize and <clears throat> rudy will uh, kind of follows what hitogami said and he sends the letter to roxy now oh now here's the thing um this is like a trick that hitogami probably played on him he said that sent a letter to roxy now obviously rudy wouldn't know that roxy is not here so he sent a letter to the palace now by seeing roxy's name i'm sure that that kid that brat pax he he took it and he read it and that's why he like you know made that trap so basically what hitogami did here was hitogami said that you want to meet uh, lilia okay i'll let you meet lilia just keep your uh, identity a secret and send a letter <laughs> as a result he does get to meet lilia and aisha but in a weird way you know like roxy doesn't get the letter the one who gets the letter is the brat and pax like makes him fall into a trap so yeah he gets his wish fulfilled but in a weird way and so yeah that's what like you know this is that's what the thing about is with hitogami he he likes having fun like that's basically him as, as he said oh I, I really like to see you struggling and like you know like breaking through the situations like that's just like you know hitogami in a nutshell he likes having fun and he wouldn't make it too difficult for rudy but he wants it to be a little challenging for rudy so he's like yeah if something is going too easily he's like you know what let me just let me just complicate the situations a little bit not too much i don't want rudy dying so let's just complicate it a little bit and let me have my popcorn here and i'll just sit and have fun watching him struggle and you know like um uh, overcoming the situation now i i wonder i wonder if this there comes a time when rudy really is big falls in danger and it's almost like you know like his life is in danger or something if some situation like this happens will hitogami help him because i'm sure he doesn't want rudy dying so who knows but yeah 
okay anyways and the the plan starts uh, you know happening um she he meets aisha now now here's one thing the thing about keeping his name like you know his identity secret <laughs> i think that that was really something that rudy needed to do because if rudy said something like oh look at this i'm your brother like you know come aisha if he's he introduced himself as his brother to aisha Aisha would have run from that situation. She would have just run. And <laughs> I think he really did need to, would have needed to keep his identity a secret unless and until he warms, you know, no, Aisha warms up to him. Because Aisha's, uh, you know, like in Aisha's uh, mental, you know, uh, what do you call it, uh, ranking, <laughs> Rudy's place is almost at the bottom. <laughs> so yeah, so he needed that <clears throat> secret identity. So, all right, and <clears throat> now the good thing here is like, um, okay, then he goes to the palace. Like, as I was saying, the good thing here is that he told uh, Rijet and Roxy that he is in a problem. Now, now Rudy had gone through situations like this before. So I'm sure Rox, uh, Rudy and um, Rijet and Eris, they would be excuse me they would be able to um, figure out that something really is wrong because you know he's not coming back or something so maybe they'll be able to take appropriate uh, action now how they're going to do it i have no idea because obviously Rujit won't be able to get help from anyone Eris is completely new to this place so how are they going to even do something like all they can do is like break into the palace and try to save him but will that be enough? Will their strength be enough? Rujit is pretty strong, but I don't know. Like, you know, like you, you're talking about breaking into a palace. So I think that's pretty difficult. So yeah, like another, like there's another good thing that's happening here is I doubt Pax knows that Rudy has someone with him, you know, like some allies or something. So he's probably going to lower his guard now. So whatever you need to do, I think Rujit and Eris needs to do now and or, or maybe like you know he i think um, um what's her name uh, what's his name pax pax sent the letter to roxy about rudy so i'm sure roxy is going to come in and maybe roxy is going to will be able to help rudy bec because you know like i'm sure roxy knows uh like roxy has known knows pax for quite a long while so i'm sure she knows that this 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 guy's a prick so yeah like i'm sure she she'll have her guards up so we'll see okay now as they were going to the palace it was constantly like you know screaming like you know that like the, the the sense like you know this 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 thing is a trap like i was kind of feeling that from the beginning but as i said roxy rudy was probably too excited to meet roxy that's why like everything all the sense all the common sense just went out of his head he was like yes i'm going to meet roxy and he falls into a trap so i guess that's probably because like you know like rocks rudy is very intelligent i'm sure he would have seen this coming for from a long like you know like a while ago because um he usually like you know thinks about a situation and contemplates about it kind of like tries to figure out if this is how i should do it or not so him like you know being too excited probably kind of made him forget about anything and he just just like you know danced his way into the palace and because he was going to meet roxy so yeah that was that was a mistake in rudy's part now here's the thing the people who brought uh, you know R rudy here now i understand it now they were basically working like you know like uh, working on pax's uh, commands because i'm sure pax had their families as a hostage or something like he said something about like oh you uh, like you know uh, like uh, what did he say like your family members are with me or something i think yeah he said something like that uh, to them so yeah so he basically took their families hostage and now he's like using them to get uh, things done so obviously he he is the seventh prince of the kingdom i guess now i don't know if there's someone above him you know some maybe some other prince we, we i have no idea maybe we'll get to know in the future 
so we'll get to see that but i'm sure he is definitely not he does not have any authority to order these people so he basically took the, the everyone hostage and just are using them and obviously he like you know the the people who are working for him are in a way his subordinates because he's a prince so they can't do anything much they can't even do like you know like i don't know like they can't do anything in this situation so they have to kind of uh go along with his plans and yeah and i'm sure he is doing every, everything that he is doing here is without uh permission from the king or something like i don't even know who the king is i'm sure we'll get to know you know like the king or the queen i'm not sure but i'm sure whoever is the actual leader of this place the palace you know i'm sure he or she probably has no idea what the hell is happening and this kid he's just blackmailing people just because he is the prince and he's using them to um get his weird stuff done and yeah he lured in uh, uh rudy and the one thing's kind of uh you know like what do you call a uh, relief is that he's stupid you know he's 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 full stupid so that's a good thing because i'm sure rudy will somehow be able to um, outwit him and do something hopefully so yeah he's stupid and he's a brat and he's selfish he's egotistical you know every every negative thing that you can say you can just pile it on him so yeah he he really needs to uh, get whacked and i don't know like probably exiled or something like i'll be happy with that like <laughs> <laughs> like you know <laughs> like his his prince status is taken from him and he's exiled to some um i don't know some other other part of the world or something and yeah like i'll be happy with that <laughs> we'll see so yeah that was it and um yeah he he's just a little brat and he he basically tried to lure roxy before with lilia but i think probably um uh, i don't know like roxy probably didn't get the letter or something because she was uh in her village so that's why probably she did not see the letter or that's why did she didn't know because i'm sure if she realized that lilia was with with him she would have come you know but uh pax said something like oh like uh, using lilia as bet didn't help and she didn't come so i'm using you as a bait so i'm sure that is not the case i'm sure uh, he she probably did not get the letter because even if it was really i'm sure roxy would have come so but now i'm sh i i don't know maybe he'll she'll get the letter now about rock rudy and hopefully she'll come help them so yeah like i have a good feeling about this kind of because roxy is probably on the way rigid and eris are so soon will probably on be on their way to the palace as well um who else uh, Rudy himself is intelligent and strong and probably this kid is not letting anyone know and doing this kind of stuff he's keeping this a secret so all things come and this and this kid is stupid so yeah all these things combined i have a bad good feeling hopefully everything will go well in a couple of episodes hopefully so yeah we'll see so that's it guys so that was my reaction to this episode and uh, yeah, so if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed and comment down below anything you want to say, anything you want to let me know. I'll definitely check them out. So that's it. And thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next week with another episode of Mushoku Tensei. So until then, goodbye and have a nice day.